Notice that if we apply direct substitution by plugging the value 0 into variable x, we will end up getting 0 divided by 0, which is one of the indeterminate forms. Therefore, we will first need to multiply the fraction by the conjugate. To determine which conjugate to multiply with, we need to take a look at this fraction. Since we have a square root in the numerator, so in this case, we multiply it by the conjugate of the numerator, which is the square root of 4 plus x plus 2. But of course, we can't just multiply the expression by something directly, so we divide it by the same thing. This part simply represents 1, which does not affect our original expression. If you're wondering what a conjugate is, let me briefly explain. Let's say we have an expression x plus y, and its conjugate would be x minus y. Notice that we actually reverse the positive sign in the initial expression to a negative sign. So, if we are given x minus y, its conjugate would simply be the other way round, which is x plus y. That's why we have a positive sign here, as we initially had a negative sign. Now, we multiply both expressions in the numerator, starting with the square root of 4 plus x, multiplied by the square root of 4 plus x, we end up with 4 plus x without the square root. Then, we multiply the square root of 4 plus x by 2, and multiply negative 2 by the square root of 4 plus x. Lastly, negative 2 multiplied by 2, we get negative 4. Since we have a positive and negative 2 multiplied by the square root of 4 plus x, we can simply cancel them out. And we have 4 and minus 4, we can just cancel them out as well. So we only end up with x. In the denominator, bear in mind that we don't have to expand the brackets, as we have a common factor in both numerator and denominator, which is x, and we can cancel it out. At this point, we can now solve this limit simply by using direct substitution. Since we have x approaches 0, we plug the value 0 into the variable x. And by evaluating this expression, we get our final answer as 1 over 4. Now, let's try another example. If we use direct substitution here by plugging the value 5 into the variable x, we will end up getting 0 divided by 0. Therefore, we will first need to apply the conjugate method as well. Since we have a square root in the denominator, so in this case, we multiply it by the conjugate of the denominator, which is the square root of 4 plus x plus 3, as we initially had a negative sign. Then, we multiply both expressions in the denominator, starting with the square root of 4 plus x, multiplied by the square root of 4 plus x, we end up with 4 plus x without the square root. Multiplying the square root of 4 plus x by 3, and multiplying negative 3 by the square root of 4 plus x. Lastly, multiplying negative 3 by 3, we get negative 9. Just like what we did earlier, as we have plus and minus the same term, we simply cancel them out. And we have 4 and minus 9, we end up with negative 5. In this case, we're not required to expand the brackets in the numerator, as we have a common factor, which is the expression x minus 5 in both numerator and denominator, so we cancel them out. We can now solve this limit by plugging the value 5 into the variable x. By evaluating this expression, we get our final answer is 6. Now that you have learned how to find limits using the conjugate method, go ahead and try on this question on your own, and feel free to share your solution in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.